Hello, welcome to another video. So this is um, still in the series of all trig functions getting their derivatives from first principle, from the definition. So I already did sine and cosine and tangent and this is secant. So the other videos would be uh, cosecant and cotangent. Somehow I find out that every time I make an attempt, I would think it would be like the other one, but there's always a different thing to apply. There's a different thing to use. Um, and so this is going to be a little different from what we've done before too. And sometimes you have to combine a lot of things to get to your answer. So let's get into this one. So for the definition, what we're going to do is um, just say that the derivative of secant x, okay, is the limit as h approaches 0 of secant x plus h minus secant x divided by h. Basically, that's how we define derivative, okay, from this. And all I have to do is do the algebra and my trig combinations and my and take limits also and that's all you have to do so you can do this you can try for co cosecant before the next video is out and see what you can get out of it so let me look at this so basically I could rewrite this as the limit as h goes to zero of I know secant is one over cosine so I'm just gonna write one over cosine x plus h minus 1 over cosine x, okay? Because that's the meaning of um, secant, all divided by h. Okay, um, and you know, in order to, remember, we don't have want complex fractions. So in order to get rid of the complex fraction you have here, multiply the top and bottom by this product. So let me show you. So this is what I'm going to have. I'm still going to have secant x, the derivative, of secant x will be equal to, instead of writing this h under, I'm just gonna write one over h here. So I'm gonna have one over h. And then I'm going to combine these two together. Okay, if I combine these two together, I'm gonna have, you know, my sixth grade students at some point in the past taught me how to combine two things. They go multiply this, multiply this, and then multiply these. And that always works. So this is going to be cosine x. If you multiply this by this and then you have this, it's going to be minus cosine x plus h. Okay, and you divide all of that by the product of these two, which is going to be cosine x um, times cosine x plus h. Okay, and that's what I've got. Oh, the limit. Come on equals the limit as h goes to zero. I can't afford to forget that. Okay, so all you have to do now is see what trig functions you can apply here. Um, I know that the cosine, now, so let's recall. So um, let me write it here. Recall that cosine a plus b is the same thing as cosine a, cosine b, minus sine a sine b you see that so this is the expansion for this so i'm going to use it for that okay uh, let's put this here so if we use this we're going to have um, the derivative of secant x will be equal to um, the limit as h goes to zero of, um, let's still put 1 over h out here, and then on the inside we're going to have cosine x minus this distribution, which is going to follow this, which is going to be cosine x, cosine h, minus, so minus cosine x, cosine h, minus sine x, sine h. Okay, so this is what we've got all divided by, um, we have cosine x, cosine x plus h. Okay, so this is basically what we've got. Now, because I don't have 
a lot of space. I'm going to do multiple things together, but I'm going to explain what I'm doing. You notice that if I distribute this negative sign, this is going to be cosine x minus cosine x cosine h, okay? But what I want to do is I want to split this here. This is going to become a plus. So maybe I should remove this parenthesis now and make this a plus. Okay, so you see, when you distribute the negative, this becomes negative, then the negative here becomes a positive. So I've done something there, okay? So that's that. Now, what I'm really looking for will be, because I'm taking limits, will be the limit as h goes to zero. There are two ingredients that I need, okay? Limits as h goes to zero. The first one is, I want to create sine h over h. We know that this limit will give us one. So you want to use it because that's going to clear a lot of things up. You also want something like this, one minus cosine h over h. As h goes to zero, we know this is going to give us zero. So these two are essential in cleaning up whatever you do when you do these um, um, uh, uh, definition derivatives. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is look for how to create one minus cosine h. I already see it here because if I factor out cosine x, I'm going to have 1 minus cosine h, and I just plug this h under it, okay? And if I go here, I can just plug in h under this sine h, and I have it. So, the good thing about uh, rational expressions is you can split the top from here, and you can say this is this over this, and this is this over this too. So you distribute, you give this to both of them while you split this in the middle. So see what I'm going to write next. It's going to blow your mind. No, it's not going to blow your mind. It's just simple um, algebra. Okay. So this expression is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of, so I'm going to factor out cosine x here. So this is going to be cosine x okay, times 1 minus cosine h. Okay, that's the top part, and on this side, I'm going to have plus sine x times sine h. Okay, I split it open. Now, I'm going to divide this. See this, I want to divide by h. This h goes in and stays under this. This h goes in and stays under this. Okay, because I'm still taking the limit of everything. Remember, the limit can apply to the sums or to the products. That's something you have to get used to. So let's put our sign here, our plus sign here. I'll put this here. So I've taken in the h. I don't need to write the h anymore. Now here, I have to write my cosine x, cosine x plus h, cosine x plus h on this side. So just look at it this way. I split it into, but it's still the same thing as what I had on top. The same thing here, I'm going to write my cosine x, cosine x plus h on this side. So that's what I've got. Uh, let's put it here. So see, when I take in the limit into each of these terms, it's going to look amazing. So watch, this is now equal to the limit as h goes to zero of cosine x over cosine x um, cosine x plus h times the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine h over h plus the limit of sine x over cosine x cosine x plus h times the limit of sine h, ah, no space, over h as h goes to zero. Okay, as h goes to zero, as h goes to zero. Okay, finally we did it. So here, what do we have? Well, this is going to give us an answer because we're going to get something. Unfortunately, this expression will give us zero. Remember, this is an identity that you have to know. This gives us zero, and zero times this gives every, makes everything zero. So now we go to the other side. Well, 
we know this is going to be 1. And if you take this limit, what do you think you're going to get? Well, just plug in h equals 0 here. You're going to end up with something like this, sine x over cosine squared x. Okay? Because this is going to be cosine x. This is going to be cosine x because this becomes 0. So it's going to be sine x over cosine squared x. And we know that times. Okay, so this is our answer because this is 0 plus this. But we know we can rewrite cosine squared x as, in fact, we don't have to do that. Okay, we can still leave it. We can write it as, okay, I'm just going to rewrite this. This is going to be, um, I'm going to write it as 1 over cosine x times sine x over cosine x. Well, this is what we're used to. So the derivative of secant x is equal to, what is this? This is what we call secant x. And what do we call this? We call this tan x. And this is the derivative of secant x from the definition. It's, it's just some little tricky moves you need to make in the middle here. Remember this identity is essential and you just need to take the correct limits. That's what's next. And after that, you get your answer. The simplification of this. Okay? And that's what you always get. So, don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.